All right. Bespin. Bespin, here we come. Yeah. Okay. Be nice if I could hit these things. Was that a free man? I, I don't know what he's doing. R2? Yeah, because normally that's what that means, but like on a side-scrolling level. He's just giving encouragement. You got one! Thanks, R2. Even if you don't, he says it anyway. Like, <laughs> you're doing great. Keep it up. You're going to fly us right into that sun in a second, right? Right, Master Luke? <laughs> into the pain. That's what this level is, is pain. <laughs> this is how many attempts I to, now? I, uh, six or seven, yeah, I believe. Yeah, something like that. This is um, really, this is a really painful level. That It uh, actually might be up to nine or ten if we include all the lives or even more. But um, I might even have to retitle the, these uh, videos when they go up on YouTube <laughs> as a uh, lore pain commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, depending on the level. Ah, you got him, you got him. There we go. Heart, heart. Now, now. Yep, Fuel. there we go. Okay, Fuel. so so B does do that, I think. B is like a boost or okay. fly okay. faster. Yeah. And maybe you can get up on their butt quicker when they're turning like that. And well, it's it, the biggest thing in this level is just getting health, and it's kind yes. of the same thing in the Hoth level is mm -hmm. getting health and just staying alive, and you'll yeah. you'll eventually kill enough, you know, probe yeah. droids and ATSTs and ATATs. But right, this is right. Just... And it, yeah, and if you could use that boost when you see a heart to just grab it that much quicker, yeah. That'll happen. See, I'm getting screwed now by all the Dang, those rammings, the dude. Like, they're like weasels and Roger yeah. Rabbit. Yeah. I'm going to ram them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Heart. Come on. Come on, hearts. Heart. Heart. Two hearts. Heart. No. Oh. One more cloud car. Oh piece of shit see and oh. that's r2 r2 is just randomly yeah chirping yep false assurance this level's hard yeah i don't know how many tips it took us to figure out the the boost thing too many because they don't give you any visual indication Nope. That you're flying faster other than you're moving toward things faster. And again, all it would take, maybe they ran out of memory, this game is so crammed, but like, all it would take is like, say a little text thing under like cloud cars saying boost. Just Yeah, that. or I, I feel like they should have just shown like the, um, the jets, you know, or the exhaust. Yeah. Like elongating With a, a different bit. sound. With a sound, like a shh. You know, like something. You know, again, I was gonna, I was gonna yeah. say that R two chirps when two hearts pop out of a cloud car, but that just happened. And he didn't chirp, so okay. I don't know. I don't know why he chirps. Yeah, he's just giving random encouragement to Luke. <laughs> it's just to remind everybody that he's in the game. Yeah. Doing nothing. He's not helping me target. No. I wonder if we could go through the list of all the Star Wars games and find out where R2 is actually the most useful in a game. And uh, yeah, I just lost like all my health getting hit by like 
getting rammed by cloud cars. Right, right. Yeah, the ramming is excessive. It, it They should have just had him shoot at you in this level, and that would be challenging enough. But, I mean, come on. All right. There we go. Oh, there you go. Two. Boost. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm boosting. All right. Seven more. Jeez. Mm-hmm. All right. Got some hearts. A couple more. Weren't they just supposed to let me get there? You know? Like, Vader's like, hey. Yeah, yeah. Sir, ship approaching X-Wing class. How how pissed would oh. Vader be oh. in the movie if the cloud <laughs> cloud cars shot Luke down? He would like find out the families of all those pilots and like just torture them and keeping them alive for like years. Yeah, they'd be on Mustafar and Vinay would be <laughs> torturing them. Whipping them. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm just imagining Vinay do that. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, please. Please, Lord. Please. I'm boosting. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Uh, it's over. Ah, victory. <laughs> Unaware of the danger that awaits them. Yeah, what about know, the danger just... back there? <laughs> yeah, it's got a good chunk of danger. Jeez Louise. That's a great cutscene. Yeah. And with the audio too. Yeah. Looks Although good. I don't think it's taken from the movie. No. I mean there's elements that are like the background and stuff, but Well no, I meant the audio. Oh like yeah. The voice line. I wonder right. who did it. I wonder if he gets a credit. Or or it's just a heavily modified uh movie line. Right. All right, let's go, Vader. Like how in the background they have the little tubes on the side of the air shaft that Luke gets sucked into. Yeah. Nice, nice uh, extra effort on that background sprite. <laughs> More Sith troopers. <clears throat> Final order. Little did we know that Super Empire Strikes Back was gonna preview the sequel trilogy all those years earlier. Yeah. <laughs> those gun turrets almost fill the same role as uh the stack of uh, skull heads in Castlevania. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> either jump over the shots or attack or block them. You know, I think that these Sith troopers or whatever would have an easier time with uh, Ben and Ray <laughs> versus those, those dumb melee weapons they had. Yeah. That would magically disappear too. <laughs> like that one against oh wait, Ray. are are you thinking of the the ones in uh um The Last Jedi? Yeah. Those ones? I yeah. I was actually thinking of the red stormtroopers in uh the the Rise of Skywalker. They come in red now? <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of is the the Last Jedi. Yeah, those those ones have an those aren't technically Sith troopers. Uh, they are called uh, what was the name? Are they called not Sith troopers? Not Sith troopers. Snoke is totally not a Sith. Yeah. I want to 
want to say it started with a P. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. It's on the edge of my brain. It's gonna Is bug it like me. A, a play on Praetorian. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. Praetorian Guard. It's it's so <clears throat> that's so on the nose because they kind of you know are based on the Praetorian Guard from you know the Roman Empire. Yeah, I or figured... the original the original troopers were I think. Yeah, and then the Senate troopers were definitely because they had that that like legion yes. head head thing. Right. Yeah, and then those of course were kind of retroactively influenced by the royal guard. It's funny looking on Google Images under Praetorian Guard. There's a, like a side by side picture of two images. It's like on the one side, it's like the actual Praetorian Guard of the Roman army, and then the other one is just the ones from Last Jedi. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> that that term is like equally valid according to Google Images. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, how uh, how often are people actually looking that up? That's what yeah, I that term, know. right? In 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 reference to the Last Jedi or Star Wars. Yeah. Honestly, I had maybe my Roman history was uh, not quite as good, but I had forgotten about the Roman Praetorian. So when I saw that term for Last Jedi, I didn't even I didn't even stop to think that it was a non Star Wars term. Hmm. But that makes sense because like all the Star Wars movies they extrapolate and take a lot from mythology and history and various things. Yeah. Is it, is it Palpatine? His name is taken from uh, ancient Rome too. I think. Yeah, I think it's based on something. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, I think I did hear that somewhere. We, well, you should look it up right now. I am. While I'm, uh, <laughs> while I'm slogging through this, yeah. this level. There's a quote from Lucas here from 2005, just talking about, he says, I love history, so while the psychological basis of Star Wars is mythological, the political and social bases are historical. Yeah, that is, that is, obviously, and the, the Empire is obviously, like, based on not just Nazis, but the Roman Empire and lots of things of that sort. Yeah. I think more so Roman. Yeah. It coming from a republic and or or especially the old republic with yes. the Roman Empire becoming corrupt and falling apart. Yeah. While starting as with the in a good way, but then becoming corrupt. I couldn't imagine doing this without elevation. <laughs> yeah, really. Especially this part because you'll get the flying stormtroopers and stuff pushing you around when you're trying to jump mm -hmm. platforms and stuff. Right. Yeah. Shades of Ninja Gaiden again. <laughs> Uh-oh. This was still when platforming games were like so common and that was that was the the structure for so many super nintendo games which was kind of tried and true because then when you had games that tried different uh 
styles like Jurassic Park and Super Nintendo with the overhead mixed with the first person. It was awful. That is an awful movie based game, like one of the worst. Yeah. And then you go to Sega Genesis with Jurassic Park and they did kind of like this where it's platforming and it's really good. Oh, it was it's a great so game. good playing as the Raptor and stuff. Yep. I know it's not and everybody's cup of tea, but I really like that game. I liked it a lot, too. I remember beating it with the Raptor, but I could never beat it with Grant when I tried, at least. Uh, I could still hear, like, his dying sound and stuff. <laughs> right. I I was, man, I was obsessed with that game. I remember that getting it. Game. I remember where I yeah. got it, everything. I rented it, I think, twice, but I never, I don't, th oh, maybe I did own it later, like in the early 2000s i think i might have but i think it was one of those that i sold along with my genesis a uh, funny anecdote about jurassic park on genesis the music was by uh sam powell who did the soundtrack for shadow run on sega genesis and mm. he is he's one of my favorite uh 16-bit composers he, all his stuff sounds really dark and kind of like gritty and Jurassic Park was a good fit for, for that. I I love that soundtrack too. It's always stuck in my yeah. head. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was weird. Like I was thinking like through the years, I was like, man, it really sounds like Shadowrun on, on Jurassic Park. See what these Park. buttholes then... do? <laughs> pushing me around. Yeah, platforms and it's stuff. Awful, man. Yeah, how can someone do it without elevate? I don't get it. You just master platforming. Ugh. That's really what it comes down to. Thermal. <laughs> there you go. I wish I could save that for Vader. <laughs> throw a thermal detonator in his face he's holding a thermal <laughs> detonator hey Vader remember fire how much you like it <laughs> <laughs> throw a lava lamp at him Here we go. All right, let's see. Ultimate boss of Super Empire Strikes Back. Funny looking at him now. He has kind of a simple pattern. Yeah. He's, he's, not he's just tough because, well, I mean, that's that's like most bosses in, yeah. in this era. It's a pattern, just knowing the pattern. There was, um, there's a boss. I think it's like the, the boss right before Dr. Wily in mm -hmm. Mega Man where... Or, or one of one of the mini bosses or something like that. Yeah. Where you all you really need to do is jump the shots, but like just a normal jump. Don't do a high jump. Yeah. Yeah. And it's stuff like that where it's 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 so simple. You just have right. to like stop. You can't overthink it. And, th and yeah, you just got to stop and like not. Not overcomplicate the what's mm -hmm. going on. I have never beat a Mega Man game, but at least on two or three of them, the first I only played the first three and Mega Man X briefly, but I I never did beat one. I could always usually get to the last stage or close to it, but I could never beat it. Well. <clears throat> Vader right now is not too tough. Obviously, I'm playing on easy, so it's a little, yeah. bit, a little bit more forgiving than it would be otherwise. Yeah. But um, if I remember correctly, Palpatine is a hell of a lot harder. 
I've heard, I've never played Palpatine, but just watching a friend do it, um, and I've I've heard things, I've read comments online that he's pretty pretty tough. And I guess he's not even the last level because you still have to do the fly out of the Death Star flames section after that, huh? Uh, I don't remember. As, it's, as Lando. Whenever we do it, it's going to be it's going to be new to me or, you know, new to my... new new f- as of the last 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten more lore than you'll ever know. <laughs> Yeah, I saw I saw John Cornelius beat Super Return of the Jedi back in '95, and I, I saw him beat this. I think the same year. You ever you ever think about that? I mean, you don't forget stuff like I do. Like you've got a, a much better memory for lore and stuff, but. I think about it sometimes that I've forgotten more lore than a lot of people would ever know about Star Wars <laughs> yeah. and yeah. other things too, but yeah, it, you know, it depends on me with me because I think the things I do remember, it, it tends to be the earlier Star Wars books I read or even like reread. So, you know, it's the repetition. That's, <clears throat> that's it, true. Usually it, I would only yeah. read something once. Yeah. And if it, you, it's like the, the if resonance. It, yeah, if there is if there is any sort of repetition of something you it's committed to memory a lot. Yeah, so I'm sure better. you remember like TIE Fighter lore more because you played that game over and over like I did. So it's like Yeah. I mean, maybe not as much as me because I fucking beat it like 30, 40 times, but <laughs> still I'm sure you remember that stuff easier than say like uh you know what aliens appeared in like dark saber or planet of twilight or yeah you know and speaking of semi-obscure lore i guess we might be jumping into the bounty hunter wars here pretty soon (laughs) can't wait to i can't wait to record that retrospective (laughs) yeah We'll do a full breakdown on the whole trilogy with like favorite Whoa. passages and <laughs> he flies away. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I wish it was Oh, yeah. I see I wish it was like it he stopped, you know, and then he just like Yeah. Like it went to like sort of a scripted thing and then he just like <laughs> cuts your hand off and you see the right. lightsaber fly and then you fall down. Like I think that would have been better. I know to be closer to the movie, because that's Damn this is kind of Nintendo. This is kind of changing it completely. You, you know, you know, Sega Genesis would have done it. <laughs> Sega does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> that's right. No stars in the background. They really, oh, yeah, they really that, are that's... outside the galactic plane. <laughs> right. It's weird. Because that's where we'll they are, right? At the end. Yeah. Of... You're... Okay. So you're remembering your Tales of the Bounty Hunters lore suddenly. Oh, the, was, <laughs> that, was that clarified in Tales of the Bounty Hunters? Yes. Yes. Oh, man. That's, that's strange. It was this Zuckus and Forlom story because they end up they end up on that medical frigate helping the rebels after they, there was like a transport around Hoth that was like leaking air and there was rebels inside and they suck us and forlom save those guys. And then they get pulled into the Alliance. It was kind of like they turned good sort of. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds familiar. Oh, well, I'll remember well, super empire. Are we gonna get a credits list or is or is that it? Let's let's see. Can't remember. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, Kalani Streacher. Striker. Striker. Yeah, he was he he led the team on a lot of those early to mid nineties uh, Star Wars games. PC also. 
Oh, there's Harrison Fong and John right? Knowles. Right. Yeah, that makes sense because even like the character animations of Luke and Vader and all the the sprites, it they look like the ones in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. y you can tell it's it's that like the same the same sprite artists. Must have been, I, I you know, you notice that a lot of uh, people had multiple roles, you know? Um, yeah. Must yeah. have been really fun to work on games back. Oh, man. Back I can't then, even imagine. It was a smaller team, you know? Now they're know. so huge and budgets are so big. But Voice of Yoda and Darth Vader, Clint Bahakian, he did, uh, I'm pretty sure he was the guy that created iMuse oh. for TIE Fighter. Interesting. And. And X one. I you know I I I figured that the um, the voice lines were different. I didn't know that they would actually credit the uh, voice right. actors. That's kind of yeah. No kidding. <laughs> that should be a question mark. Well, at least at least this game gives you an end to the credits, unlike Shadows of the Empire, where it just loops. <laughs> Yeah, forever, and we go. We start to go through it three times before we realize. <laughs> Talking like for an extra ten minutes on our YouTube video. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, that, was, um, that was great. They dare See me to try again. brave, but you know what? I'm pretty sure I beat this on <laughs> Jedi back in the '90s, and yeah. I'm I'm content with easy. So yeah, no doubt. Yoda, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh. You're Hell not going to do ass? No. <laughs> You're going to do a real one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Easy. Oh, that, that, <laughs> that doesn't look so great now. I guess all <laughs> I know, those Jedi. Like <laughs> blaring. <laughs> well, there you go. Super Empire. Yoda really got 50,000 even? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how he operates, man. <laughs> Same with Peter. Right. He got he got even numbers. Anyway, Times. Return of the Jedi next. Ooh. <laughs>